what is up guys welcome to the episode of gaming and today i have a brand new video and in this video i want to discuss the rumors that are going around i've been watching a lot of uh call of duty news on youtube and i've been reading reddit posts and everything and everything points out and it's going to be that they're going to have a free business model when it comes to the multiplayer maps everybody's going to have access to the free multiplayer maps that's what the rumor is going around don't quote me on that because we're not sure, nothing is confirmed yet, and no an activation. It's probably not going to be true, but it's fascinating to think that way, that we're going to get some free stuff, some free maps. The whole multiplayer aspect is going to be free. Every single multiplayer map is going to be free. I know Call of Duty points are coming back. We saw pictures of it because if you pre-order, you get uh, 1100, 1100 cop points, I believe. So we know supply drops are going to be coming back and there, there's going to be guns behind it. There's going to be skins, uh, weapons, anything's going to be behind it. And it's really exciting to just know that Activision is trying to change the business model that they have. They've been, they implemented it like 10, 11 years ago and it's really, really old. And it, they got to get with the times, you know. I know there's going to be like a season pass, but I, I heard... That it's, it's going to be like a fraction of what it usually costs. It's not going to be $15 of DLC or $50 for the season pass. I guess it's all it's all going to be like zombies related. So it's going to be like $30 like Zombie Chronicles was. I really hope they do approach this way. And I want to know what you guys think in the comments. You guys think that Activision is really going to be taking this route with Black Ops 4 to uh, rejuvenize the franchise again. I think so. I think it's a really good decision to give at least the multiplayer aspect for free. And do not put every single fucking gun behind a paywall with fucking cop points or this stupid cryptocurrency dude, that was so fucking annoying to get. I just want to get my guns and I want to play the game. I used to play Black Ops uh, Call of Duty a lot in that manner dude, but after the paywalls, I stopped playing this game dude. I don't really play Infinite Warfare or Call of Duty World War 2, but that's a whole different fucking video dude. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. You guys really think this is going to happen? You guys think this is not going to happen? And without any further ado, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and happy gaming out.